Okay, so before we get deep into this topic, I wanted to say the reason I'm using the word unfortunate and not straight up just bad, no hyperbolic, terrible labels going on out here, is because, in essence, there isn't really much I can complain about, except for the very nitpicky things we're going to be discussing today about Cole Caulfield in the two games played with the Wisconsin Badgers this season. So, getting into the video, Caulfield is indeed the Canadiens' 15th overall pick from the 2019 NHL Entry Draft. Everybody kind of knows the story. He was probably good enough to go somewhere in the top seven. He was a great goal scorer with the NTDP. He broke all these records. He tied Ovechkin's goal record at the U18s. He's good. And he went a little bit later than a lot of people said he probably should have because he is only 5'7". But, in his freshman season with the Wisconsin Badgers, on the worst team in his conference, he was a point per game, he led the entire conference in points, and he ended up getting a whole bunch of awards because of it. Not a big deal. So, Habs fans, taking a look at what is probably the guy with the most star power in their prospect system today, heading into his sophomore year with the Badgers, were very excited. And he has now completed two games where he has two points. Caulfield, in the University of Notre Dame games back-to-back -back on the 13th and the 14th, ended up getting himself an assist in both of the games. In the 2-0 win earlier on Friday, he got an assist, and then on the 5-3 win earlier yesterday, he got an assist on the power play. But there are some very... Oh man, there are kind of weird things that we're going to talk about here in this video. And again, I say they're nitpicky because it's certainly not amazing, but it is just kind of unfortunate to take a look at here. So first off, let's go over what exactly happened in the 5-3 win yesterday against Notre Dame. Because Cole Caulfield started things off here with the primary assist on Ty Pelton Bice's goal on the power play with four minutes left in the first period. Caulfield took the puck over at the right blue line, walked it in himself, sent it over out in front, and then Ty Pelton Bice took a shot, it went in. But this is one of the problems, I would say, with the overall deployment of Cole Caulfield so far, because people have been noting it, because people do watch these games, they are available to watch online, that Cole Caulfield on the power play is being used in a very weird way. Caulfield is seen by many as a right-handed sniper, a small guy, you put him over on the left side, that's where Jack Hughes sends the puck over, where he takes it, he grips it, he rips it, it's in. Either that, or he does a cool move, he dekes out a guy, he dekes out the goalie, he finds some open space, you send it over, give him a one-timer, and he scores that way. But... He hasn't been playing like that over the first few games, because he actually hasn't been given that left side on the power play. They're playing him at the right point, and it's kind of weird because he's not moving on the right point. He's just standing there. It's almost like there's a very specific set of instructions that were given to Caulfield that said, Hey man, your purpose on this power play unit is to stand here at the right point and not do a thing. If the puck comes to you, great. Do something with it. Go forward, send a guy in front the pass. Let's see if you can get an assist. But he's been stagnant. He's just been standing there, and that's not the Cole Caulfield that Habs and Badgers fans saw get a point per game last season in his freshman year. Sure, he's a point per game now, which is cool, but still, remember last year, Cole Caulfield started out with, I think it was like six goals in three games. It was something crazy like that, because this guy could just absolutely grip it and rip it and score. Take a look at this tweet over here from Habs Chronicle. It is very early, but it doesn't look extremely promising for Cole Caulfield this year. He doesn't have the kind of line mates that let him be his best. He's also being deployed rather stupidly on the power play. When he has Suzuki or Kotkaniemi as a center, it will be a different story. And the first reply over here says, well, he's a point per game so far, which is very true. And it's kind of funny how we can take a look at a guy who is at a point per game pace and say that he's been a little bit unfortunate with his overall deployment and the point production he is getting. Because, hey, he's a point per game. What more could you ask for? 
but going forward with the 5-3 to three win for the Badgers, we saw ourselves a few more goals. Ryder Donovan put the Badgers up to nothing. Then Colin Thiessen ended up tying it. He got two goals back-to-back, -back, two minutes apart in the second period. And then, with about 40 seconds left in the second period, the Badgers ended up taking the lead. We saw Caulfield take the puck in. He found himself in front of the net. He kind of slipped it in past the five hole, and all of a sudden, that is Caulfield's first goal on the season. What, you thought I was talking about Cole Caulfield? No, we're talking about Brock Caulfield here. What are you, nuts? Yeah, Cole Caulfield's older brother, Brock Caulfield, has been on the Badgers over the past few years, and he ends up putting the Badgers up 3-2, and then the Badgers got themselves a few more goals. Dylan Holloway, oh my gosh. Dylan Holloway in the third period absolutely dazzled. This guy wrapped himself around the net, popped out in front, and then he shot the puck over the goalie's shoulder by his helmet and into the tiny space in the net. It was Cole Caulfield, Jeff Petrie style, if you know what I mean. But this was a play where we saw Cole Caulfield do a little bit more of an interesting little maneuver because he forced himself out into the front of the net and he kind of tried bodying off the guy in front to create space. He was there, kind of acting as the net front presence garbage man if there's a rebound kind of guy. And to me, that's really interesting to see. Cole Caulfield being somewhat of a physical-ish kind of player, that's weird. Very, very weird. And you could say, oh, it's because it's the way he's being deployed. He's not really being given the reins to be the offensive guy, so they're forcing him into a grinder kind of role. That's kind of a different speculative element that I don't want to really explore here. But eventually, we did see towards the end of the game, Cole Caulfield take the puck himself. He tried to go in for a big hit, and then he ended up getting absolutely rocked. At the end of the day, Cole Caulfield is still a sub-six-foot player, which is why when he took the puck and he came in, it was a very easy target for, it was actually the hat-trick guy, Colin Thiessen, who came in and hit Caulfield into the next dimension. He just kind of got laid out. And Caulfield laid down there on the ice, stomach first, and he stayed there for a while, Colin Thiessen didn't really get anything happen to him. I mean, it is college hockey. You don't really see the same amount of scrums and altercations and fights and all that. Fights aren't even allowed, I think, at the NCAA level. So there wasn't really too much of the sticking up for the teammate kind of thing going on here. But ultimately, it piles up into this list of unfortunate weird things that have happened to Cole Caulfield over the past two games. And even though it is two games, you have to remember, this season is shortened here. The Badgers are only scheduled to playing 12 games in total. So for Cole Caulfield, two games represents a literal sixth of the entire year. If this was a normal 36-game season, I guess, let's say 36 just for the sake of pulling a number out there, this would be six games, and six games is a significant amount. So in this shortened year where Cole Caulfield is being played weirdly on the power play, he's got zero goals because he's playing up there in the blue line, not moving around. It is really weird to see him being deployed this way, not with the proper line mates, and being put in a role where he is the net front presence on certain offensive rushes. It's kind of weird to me personally, and I'm still waiting for Cole Caulfield to eventually get that first monkey off the back goal of the NCAA season because we saw him light it up last year. So, yeah, it's kind of odd to tell you the truth, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Caulfield is still a point per game, so I won't complain too much, but there still are some improvements, I think, that could be made with the overall role he has on the team, I guess, because there certainly are a lot more things that Habs fans are waiting for Cole Caulfield to exhibit, and I'm just one of these guys who is sitting here on the sidelines waiting for them too. So talk to me in the comments about Cole Caulfield. Are you worried about his weird overall just projection here on the power play, not being given the limelights and all that? Does it worry you to the same extent that it's worrying me and it's worrying a few other people I'm seeing on Montreal Canadiens fans' Twitter accounts? There certainly would be a different outcome if Caulfield was playing with the Kotkaniemis and the Suzukis on the Canadiens full time, but the way things are in the sophomore year with the Badgers, who knows how good or bad this could potentially be for his development. Now, devil's advocate to that point, it is foreseeably only going to be one more year he is going to be with the Badgers. So who knows if one, let's just say, more difficult, one more hard-headed, one more limited year where he is still a point per game is what he is in store for. If he goes through one difficult year and he's still a point per game after being given limited opportunities compared to the season before where he was still a point per game, 
I think there is indeed growth there. It's just, you know, you have to wait and see with these kinds of things. We have 12 games to go. The last game of the season, foreseeably for the Wisconsin Badgers men's ice hockey team, is December 9th. So it's just under a month away we're going to have to wait to see Caulfield suit up in the 12 full game schedule. So talk to me in the comments what you think about Cole Caulfield. I hope you enjoyed this video. Nine, nine. And bye. <laughs>